Hello everybody, I'm Chantel and today we are at VA Berry in St. Thomas and I can't believe we haven't filmed here yet. Yeah, I know. So today we are just going to be playing a nice fun round. I asked you guys on Instagram to ask me some questions so we are going to be answering those for you and we're going to be throwing some cool shots. Hopefully. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Okay, hole one is 250 feet. Just straight ahead. That one's out further than the one over there. Yeah, apparently. Interesting. And there's like a stream behind. Pretty just, basic shot. Yeah, just straight at it. Yankee. <laughs> Beautiful. Nice. This okay. park is so nice. The stream goes all throughout. Yeah. It's in like a gully. It's it's really cool. It's kind of protected from the wind. Chris is CTP. Ooh, good catch. <laughs> nice. Good start. Oh, yeah. Look how pretty. Pull to 356 feet. Kind of just straight ahead. There is long grass lining all of the fairways, which I feel like is technically OB. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. I uh -oh. grip blocked that yeah, so you did. hard. Wow. Did that make it all the way down there? Pretty close. <laughs> oh. Sit. Yeah? Ooh, I might have skipped OB, but I we'll think see. you're good. First question, Chantel. Okay, first question is from Can I Borrow a Feeling? Any hints to achieve a straight shot instead of a big curve? A big part is your disc choice, but also the angle of release. If you have a understable disc and you want to do something really straight and you don't want it to turn, I would try and do a hyzer flip. Yeah. So when you throw it on a hyzer straight, it will, since it's understable, it will flip up and hopefully, depending on the disc, it will stay really straight and then probably have a little bit of a fade at the end. Get really comfortable throwing putters yeah. because they go dead straight. <laughs> you should go out and practice. Yes, right? field work is probably your best friend because you're not just going to go to a, a course and be able to throw straight just because I told you to throw it on a hyzer. <laughs> yeah. All right, Chris is in the fairway. You still had some room too. Yeah, that was deceiving. All right, he has a outside the circle putt. Let's see how his putting is today. Ooh. Oh! <laughs> rude. That was really rude. That was so good. Dang. Aww. Ooh, Chantel's pretty close. Oh, a little short. Oh my gosh. <laughs> do 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 do. Three, 297 feet to the short pin. It's just another pretty straight shot. OB all around the basket. Wow. Oh, don't hit that. Okay, it's a putt. That looks so nice from this angle. It flipped up really nice. Yeah. <laughs> I threw it a little higher than I was. <laughs> All right, next question. Okay, it is from RTG underscore disc underscore golf dies. <laughs> Are you enjoying the move to Prodigy? Ooh, spicy. <laughs> I actually have been loving Prodigy. The discs are really nice and I've been throwing them really well and I feel really comfortable with them. There's just so many good discs, so I'm really loving it and the support from them has been really nice as well. So. I'm feeling good. 
feeling right. good. I'm really excited to start this little tour season that we have and see what I can do with these new discs. Hey, I hit that tree. I'm gonna try a jump putt like Chris. Ooh, let's see if you got it. Oh, oh close. close. <laughs> There it is! Nice! <laughs> yeah! Nice. I'm just so excited for the downhill hole. I can't know. wait. I'm just trying to get to it quick. I don't want to walk up it though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hole 4, 338 feet in the long pin. So it's kind of a straight Benheiser. <laughs> or a big turnover. Yeah, Flex. turnover where it's at. I think I'm a little short, but that was so beautiful. Yeah. Chris is doing the turnover. I gotta try it. Oh, it's not gonna come back. Oh, no. He parked the other hole. Okay, I guess I should have went more stable. Okay, next question is from Can You Putt? Hi, Ken. <laughs> he asked, What's the hardest thing about being out there on social media slash YouTube? Oh, that's a good question. That is a good question. So I think the hardest thing is, well, one that comes straight to my mind is filming around people. <laughs> I have a really hard time doing that because I've always been a really shy, quiet person. So I've just been finding my more confident and loud and, you know, just being myself Self through disc golf. Another thing that I think is really hard for me is putting all my failures out there for you guys to watch. It's hard trying to do all this stuff and like get to the pro tour and play well in tournaments and I just crumble under pressure and my nerves get the best of me and it's hard doing that almost every single tournament and putting it out for you guys but I also kind of like it because it's so, I feel like it's so relatable. <laughs> Everyone has those feelings of tournament nerves and the pressure to do well. So I think it's nice that I can share that with you guys and I feel comfortable enough to share, you know, my struggles and the disc golf journey because it's literally every day. <laughs> it's a struggle. Thank you guys for enduring <laughs> what I've been going through with me. So maybe give some of the pros some slack when they're not doing that good on tour because this is really hard. <laughs> it's like hard and I can't imagine being out there every single weekend trying your best and just being emotionally and physically drained just because you're doing it all week and then you have a tournament on the weekend and then the next week you're driving to your, like that's crazy. Yeah. But it sounds so wonderful. Yeah, it does. <laughs> like, just, that's just what I want to be doing. Like, I'm so excited to maybe get to that point. So I kind of got off topic there. But yeah, I think those are the two things that are probably the hardest thing about yeah. being on social media. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Chris. He's a little short. <laughs> Not the best. Good up, good up. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh, pretty good shot, I'd say. I am pretty happy with it. I thought it was a little closer, not gonna lie, but we will survive. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Look how beautiful the birds are bathing. This is so nice. Nice and peaceful. Okay, we're on hole five. There's no T sign that I see. I think it's probably around 200 feet. It's a pretty short hole. Yeah. We got the longest T pad. Yeah, it's so nice long. Nice little short hole. Yeah. Wow. That'll do. Great shot. <laughs> Chris got a lumpy disc. <laughs> it's a pretty beaten disc. I love it. <laughs> it's 
stable. Yeah, I thought it'd flip more. <laughs> what the heck? It's a lumpy disc. You can't, you don't know what's going to do. I guess. All right, Chris. Okay, I'm just practicing my jump putts all day. Oh, good line. Oh, <laughs> Ooh, nice. Right side change. <laughs> All right, hole six, 334. It looks like there used to be some trees. Not no more. They go. There's still one tree. <laughs> Down at the end. <laughs> okay, it's up there. Wow. Why does your D3 flip so much more than mine? I don't know. Are you way stronger than me? I think so. <laughs> oh, watch that. Sit, 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 sit. Uh oh. So Chris threw a second shot because he wanted to throw it in, I guess. <laughs> and he turned it. And we're like, okay, that's gone. But it's, I don't know if you can see, it's sitting on a stick almost in the river. He got so lucky. How did that even happen? Never throw second shots. They're always worse. Next question is from Shali. <laughs> <laughs> what are you thinking about during your throw? Ooh, that's a good one. What I think about usually during my throw is, well, when I walk up to the tee pad, obviously, what disc do I need? What's the shot shape, how far? And then when I actually step onto the tee pad and I know what I'm doing, I think I'm just thinking of what angle of release I'm going to release it on. So usually I try to release most of my discs on like the tiniest of hyzer. I try to do that because I naturally have an anhyzer throw. So I've really been trying to work on my, my hyzer straight throws. So that's okay. basically what I'm thinking about. All right, Chris is hanging on for dear life right here. <laughs> Chris is shooting into a, a dark forest. <laughs> that looks so cool. Oh, nice Bad. bid, nice bid. Okay, oh. Chantel's right here. Is this patch of grass OB? I don't think it is. Uh, I'm in short grass though. Yeah, I don't think that's OB. Whoa! Yes! So talk about nice putt. <laughs> Thanks. Oh. <laughs> All right, guys. Here is the sign. We are shooting to 291, the long pin. I said that funny. <laughs> yeah. Just pretty straight. You want to go first? Sure. Show me how it's done. I just love these giant tee pads. I know. So much room. Wow. Okay. Okay. That was nice though. That yeah. was a really nice straight pull. Thanks. Stay up, stay up. I threw it low. That's okay. <laughs> All right. The next question is from. Try your best. Char the Choco Bar. <laughs> Char the Choco Bar. He asks. Go to approach disc. Also, your videos are great. Thank Aww. you. So as of right now, my favorite approach discs are my PA3 putter. It just goes really straight and has a nice reliable finish at the end. And it holds up really nice in a headwind, which yeah. I've been missing for a long time. So that is for my straight approaches. And now I have the distortion. It's so nice to have that overstable forehand approach disc. So those are my two favorite. Oh. oh. Oh, yanked it right. Oh. Wow. He's a putting machine. <laughs> first try, baby. You dropped first, your towel. First try. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> All right, left handed. Nice. Getting better at those. <laughs> Hole eight. Let me 
check how far it is. <laughs> okay, 234 feet straight up this hill. Wow. The camera does not do it justice. This thing is That's high. really high up. Okay, so uphill, throwing more understable because they're gonna act more stable, right? Yeah. Okay. He needed to throw it higher. Oh, that's so weird. I know, it it's like- It's like I'm throwing- Everything you try high. not to do, yeah. you have to do. <laughs> Dead center. How is that so hard? Right? The camera just doesn't do it justice. This is so uphill right now. Like it would suck to have a cart right now. <laughs> Whoa! Okay, I thought that was just, it was really hard, but I guess you needed it. Yeah. <laughs> Right? It goes like nowhere. Whew. You definitely don't want to roll away here. No. Okay. The best stance here. Nice. All right, Chris made a mistake. He threw past the basket. Now he has to put downwards. I kind of want him to miss. <laughs> oh, that's lame. Easy. I wanted him to miss and it roll all the way down. Wow. <laughs> All right, we made it up the hill. Look at this. Look how cool it is. This is so downhill. I don't know if you guys can see the basket. It's kind of, it's on the left side there. And we have a nice strong headwind. Yeah, very strong headwind. <laughs> Usually they don't have all this like long grass that I'm guessing is OB. But they haven't mowed it, so I'm guessing it's OB now. Yeah. That makes this even tougher than it already was. It's pretty cool. I like how they incorporated the tee pad into the sidewalk up here. Pretty sweet. All right, hole nine, 580 feet, way downhill. Oh! I made it! It's beautiful! I made it! What a great I shot! I did not flip too much, but it was perfect. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! Come on back! Come on! Oh, Come on! Oh, he made it! <laughs> Inbounds! Okay, I cannot get a hold of throwing down. I know, it's so weird. It's so weird. All right, now we get this awesome hike down here. Good luck. <laughs> you wanna sit on this and I'll push you down? Yeah. Okay, I barely made it in bounds. Chantel's there, basket is there. Just need to throw mine a little lower. It, I honestly thought we were up further. Yeah, deceiving, eh? That's so strange. I'm just happy I made it in though. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, nice. Great up. Thanks. Boom. Hole 10. I think it's in the long position. 361 feet uphill. This is a very tricky hole and now there is OB. Yes. I'm going to be throwing just a uh, mid-range, just trying to get it right before the OB uh, so that I can have an easy pitch up because I normally land right where the OB is. Wow, beautiful placement. I'm in the path, but I would have been OB. <laughs> if there wasn't a path? Yeah. <laughs> Safe. I think that's a terrible spot, but we're gonna see. <laughs> <laughs> terrible spot. Do not land here. Go more that way. So it's way up the hill. I'm just gonna try and throw a hyzer and get somewhere close. Wow. Hey, you definitely got the distance. 
The basket is in those trees. It's very guarded green. Get in there. Oh, it's a putt. It needs so much more height. I know. Next question is from Melissa underscore Tal Talby. <laughs> Talby? What's your biggest goal this year? You all know that I can't play in tournaments without feeling terrified. <laughs> so my biggest goal for this year is to get a lot more comfortable playing in tournaments, feeling more confident, putting more confident as well, and overall just feeling confident. <laughs> Confidence, that's like my main goal, is just to feel comfortable and shoot how I know I can shoot. That's why I'm gonna be playing all these tournaments to feel more comfortable. Get that experience. Get that experience and I'm sure it'll come. Oh, good run. Ah, oh. oh, he hit the band. Oh, let's see if I can do it on the second. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> nice try. There we go. All right, hole 11. It is in the 217 position. This is a lefty hole dream. Literally parked. Yeah, I was hoping for an ace. <laughs> <laughs> Don't. Oh, you're lucky. Ooh, <laughs> dead straight it. at it. I think you're long. I'm long? I don't see you. I should be right under the basket. I am. Oh. I'm right there. <laughs> well. Nice. Good shot. Well played hole. No aces though. Hole 12 in the 235 position. You can either go straight down these trees or the big ol' hyzer. Oh, I think that was great. Hopefully it bounced a little bit. <laughs> He's going for the ace. <laughs> I was waiting. Okay, next question is from W. G. Riser. Nice. If you could have a signature disc, what would it be? Ooh. I would love the D3. Yeah. As soon as I threw the D3, I fell in love with it. I knew it was gonna be my bomber. It goes so far. Yeah, it really does. You sold me on it. Yeah, Chris throws it now for his main distance driver, so it's just a great disc. Nice putt. Boom, baby. Oh, hey, smoking. This course is really cute. I like it. We should come here more often. We should. Hole 13, I think it's in the short position to 298. So a hyzer around these trees. What are you gonna do? Driver. <laughs> oh, it was short. Oh. Had great height. Need to be a little bit more outside. Next question is from 22 songs about Springfield. When did you start playing disc golf? So, I'm sure a lot of you already heard the story, but me and Chris started playing disc golf in July of 2019. Yes. So are we coming up on three years? Uh, yeah. Yeah, wow. three years now. Played our first tournament three weeks in. Yep, three weeks into disc golf, we <laughs> signed up for a tournament and haven't looked back, baby. I actually did look back because I just went back to the tournament to see what our scores were because I never thought about checking it and yeah. it was not good. <laughs> I think I played a six something rated round, 600 and I don't hey, even know, only 685. <laughs> That's so funny though to look back. I was putting with my leopard three. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was really great. Thank you. Good job. 
Oh, oh good catch. putt. <laughs> Thank you. What a cute little Canadian basket. Chantel's so modest about her putts that she always just compliments the basket for its good catch. Good catch. I hit you right down in the center, but good catch. <laughs> All right, hole 14, it's in the 488 position. Par three, by the way. Par three, dead straight How in between rude. all these trees. <laughs> I'm gonna get there, I'm gonna park it. Oh, for sure. Oh, dead center. Good with that. <laughs> Wow! Uh-oh! Fade, baby! <gasps> you bounced out. Did I? I? I'm pretty sure you bounced out. Wow, mine flipped way more than that. Yeah, it did. Okay, next question is from Donona. Donona, what is your favorite disc for distance? I've basically answered that already, the D3. I just threw it. You saw how beautiful it flies. And the second question, Grampy underscore 162241 asks, What's your go-to forehand driver? And I think right now my go-to forehand driver is the D2 because it's nice and stable. So with my choppy side arm, <laughs> it comes out and has a nice flex and I get pretty decent distance out of it. I feel like I've been neglecting my PX3. I'm gonna give it a little nice go. It's kind of breezy. <laughs> I guess if this is actually OB. <laughs> it is for me. <laughs> it made it through. Oh my gosh. It flipped right out. What a shank. <laughs> okay, maybe it is all luck today. Okay. <laughs> oh, discs don't lie, baby. Didn't deserve it. You were OB. Then you hit a tree. Not really though. <laughs> I didn't take advantage of anything. <laughs> oh, I wasn't filming. <laughs> Why you do that? Did I get you? Well, you know, sometimes Chris doesn't film. Hey. And one time I made a really sick putt and he wasn't filming and I was very sad about it. <laughs> Hole 15, I believe it's in the short pin, 274 feet. Let's do it. So one of the questions was from Jake and he asked if I throw the F5 and I do, but let's see if I can throw it well. <laughs> oh, get through. Ah. Ah. You know what? It's not terrible. It is a headwind. <laughs> Chris is doing the alternate route with the sidearm. Whoa, she's stable. You didn't, you didn't flex that at all. No. <laughs> all right, Chris is in here. Hopefully it's not a bunch of poison ivy. Yeah, <laughs> we'll find out. I feel itchy already. Yeah, nice. Oh, oh. weak. Nice. Yes, please. Nice. Hole 16. I think this is another outdated tee pad because it's way to the left. Wow. Hey, Shinky, that's good. <laughs> Look great. Looking good. Okay, might be short, I don't know. Okay, the next question is from Andrew Cavs. Top course on your bucket list. So I think I would have to say, I really want to play the courses in Vermont. Yeah, they look they so look nice. Amazing, I really want to go there. Hopefully we can add another tour stop this year. I don't know if we're gonna be able to make it, but I want to play those courses so bad. Oh, just a little left. 
Hey, oh, good pie. That was real nice. <laughs> <laughs> you know who makes those first person putts look super easy? Chandler Fry. He yeah, just goes he's doing bang. like 30 feet and they're yeah. just like in. so smooth, no <laughs> wobble. All right, hole 17. It says 267. That is I way yeah, I don't think it is, but uh, same same shape. <laughs> 309. 309? 309. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, I was hunting for it. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Just missed. Just missed that branch. A little long, but it'll be fine. <laughs> we are coming up to the end. Chantal, let's bang out some questions real quick. Speed round. Oh my gosh. Are you playing Ledgestone this year? Yes. Nice. I am. Uh, how to better improve putting? I've been practicing nightly, averaging 55% at 25 feet. Keep practicing nightly. Yeah. <laughs> That's yeah. how you're going to get better. Experience, baby. Yeah. And you know what? Even if you're not putting that well during putting practice, when you go out to the course, you'll notice that you're putting better. My wife wants to know if you work as a hairstylist because your hair is always so cute. Oh, thank you. I actually took hairstyling, uh, but I didn't pursue it because my wrist, <laughs> I have tendonitis and it was just so hard on it. And I didn't really like the environment, to be honest. Lots of gossip. So I was like, Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, I thought what the heck? I thought I was short. You're that was actually an ace run. Yeah. So you're I just tapped that in real quick. <laughs> nice. Good job. Bravo. Hole 18, 315 feet. Yeah, it's going. Nice. That'll putt. Hey, that's actually what I wanted to do. Wow. That worked out. <laughs> yeah, Up that's there. good. That's fine. Okay, last question is from Steve underscore Castanon Jr. Where do you feel your game has improved the most? I actually think my distance has improved a lot. For sure. Ever since you got the D3, it, <laughs> honestly. Yeah, there was one, was it Hudson Mills? Something just clicked with my distance driver and like how it was pulling and stuff. And I just got like an extra, no, it was at Indy. Oh, okay. Oh, I just, yeah. all of a sudden I could throw 30 to 50 feet more further than usual. So it's like, Okay, is it the disc? Is it the form? I don't oh, know. Oh, you were wearing different shoes too, so we weren't able to <laughs> pinpoint it. I was wearing my flat shoes because I forgot my disc golf shoes. So I was like, there's too many things to, I don't know. So definitely the distance. Big putt for Chris. Ooh, is he gonna hyzer or turn it over? Hyzer. Okay. <laughs> Hey, the pros make that look way easier. <laughs> <laughs> That's so far away. Good up. Good job. Tap me out. Nice. Beautiful. All right, guys. So that is the end of this video. Thank you so much for sending me all your questions. Sorry if we didn't get to yours. We tried our hardest to answer as much as we could. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching and we will see you in the next one.